The blockchain space moves fast and missing out on regular updates can affect your investments. It is definitely vital to stay informed. Now, the Zeepin Medium channel has all the announcements and the Zeepin Galaxy Telegram channels provide community support and a great way to meet new members. So I will leave all the links in this video description. In section one of this video, I cover installing Z Wallet and importing your Neo private key. Section two covers extracting your private key from your ledger and then importing that into the Z Wallet. Now, bear in mind, section two is a lengthy video, so I suggest that you pause while you complete each step. Now, make sure to follow each step in section two and you'll maximize the security of your assets on your ledger and in Z Wallet. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is to navigate to zwallet.io and if you're running Android, it should be pretty straightforward. If you, however, are installing iOS, because it's not officially in the App Store, you'll need to follow these prompts and then you'll notice that if we actually try and open it right now, you'll get a uh, pop-up. And so in order to fix this, we need to go to settings and then click on general and then if we scroll down until we get to device management and click on that and then click on Zhang Zhao and then trust Zhang Zhao and now if we go back to the icon and we try and open it it should work fine now so we'll open it just okay that and just Continue now. I'm going to show you this example on my Android, so we'll just swap over here. Click on continue. Now import the wallet and select private key. Now you need to paste in your private key from your Neo address in here. Paste that in here, and I'll just create a quick password. Obviously, you want to create a better one. You just repeat it here, and then check mark I have read carefully and start importing. Now it will do the swap automatically. You'll notice here we've got I've got some ZBT and a little bit of Gala, and you'll notice that the address is started with a Z. Okay, so that actually completes the import and your tokens have been swapped. Now let's look at section two of this video, and that is extracting your private key from your ledger. These are the steps we need to take for the best security possible. If you need to pause the video until you complete each step, make sure you do so. So creating a new seed. We need to create a new seed by resetting our ledger. Now make sure you have your original seed handy because you'll need this in future steps. First, we need to initiate the reset. So log into your ledger three times with the incorrect pin code. Next, follow the prompts. You'll be asked to input your current PIN code. This will then restart the ledger. Make sure to select Configure as new device. Then choose a new PIN code and confirm it. Continue to follow the prompts. You will need to write down, then confirm the new seed. This will be your new ledger seed for all of your current assets. Now we have a new seed, we need to add the apps with the new addresses for our assets. We can use Ledger Live or the old Chrome apps. I prefer Ledger Live as it enables account creation. We will create an Ethereum address as an example in Ledger Live. You will need to install Ledger Live. I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't already and connect your ledger. First, let's click on Open Manager. Now you'll need to allow the manager on your device. Once it's connect, it will load all the apps. Once this is loaded, we will scroll down and beside Ethereum, click on Install. Now this could take a few seconds. Click on Close. And now come over to Accounts and add a new account. We need to scroll down and choose Ethereum. 
click on continue and now you'll need to open the Ethereum app on the ledger. Once you've done that, click on continue. And now it's going to synchronize. This could take a little bit longer. Okay, now once it's synchronized, we can give the account a new name. I'm just going to call this one one and then check here and add account. Okay, we can close this box now. Now come over to receive, click on receive, and as long as one's selected, which is what we're using, click on continue, and then continue again. Now we need to verify on our device, so click verify here, and then check the address on your ledger to make sure it's the same, and then verify. Now all we need to do is just copy the address. Okay, so once the address has been displayed and we've copied it, now we can use this on our new seed. Now, unfortunately, Ledger Live doesn't include NEO as an asset to add under accounts. So what we can do is we can use NEON for this. So all you need to do is simply connect your Ledger and log into NEON and then click on Receive and copy that address. Next, we will have a look at restoring our original seed. So now we have our new seed, we must restore our old seed so we can send the assets to the new seed addresses. The only assets that will be left on this old seed will be the ZBT and Gala, which we will import to Z Wallet. As we did creating a new seed, we need to initiate a reset by logging into our ledger with three incorrect PIN codes. Follow the prompts then select the X for Configure as New Device. This is so we can restore an old seed. Next, make sure to select the check mark for Restore Configuration. You will now need to enter your original seed to restore. Okay, so now you'll need to add the apps associated with your investments using Ledger Live like I showed earlier with the Ethereum example. Once we have our original assets restored and visible, we need to send to the new addresses on the new seed. Now, remember, we are not sending our ZPT or Gala from the seed. We will be importing the private key we extract from this seed into Z Wallet and making the swap in Z Wallet. Okay, so let's look at extracting the private key. First, let's navigate to the tool. I will leave a link in the description for this. Now right click anywhere in the blank space and select save as and save this to your desktop using the default name. Next, we need to disconnect the internet. Now I'm on Windows 10. So if you come to the bottom right hand side and click on either the Wi-Fi icon or the Ethernet icon, and then open network and internet settings. I'm on ethernet, so I'll select it here, but the same, you'll go to the same uh, place if you click on the Wi-Fi. Click on change adapter settings. And now right click on your active connection and choose disable. So now we have the internet disabled, we can open the extraction tool we save to our desktop. Once open, we will need to input our original seed that still has a ZBT and Gala on it. Now, I have mine in a notepad, but if you don't, you can simply write it inside this text box right here. Once you have it in there, you can now click on Find With. Now, by default, the top address should be the one that you use all the time your default NEO address. Down here you can see that it has a private key beside it. This is the one that we need to copy and this is the key we need to import to Z Wallet. So at this point you should have created a new seed and addresses for that seed. You should have also restored the ledger back to the original seed 
Then you should have sent all your assets to the new seed addresses apart from ZPT and Gala. And finally, you should have extracted the private key from your original seed. Now, in this next part of the video, we will import the private key to Z Wallet, then create a new Z Wallet address and send the ZPT and Gala to that address. This will ensure our ZPT and Gala are on a new private key and are more secure. So let's get started. Okay, so you can watch section one on this video on how to import your private key. Once you have your key imported, come up to the menu, then click on create your wallet. I'm just going to call this one main. I already have my password on, on password on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in here and confirm. Click on I have read carefully and agree, and then create your wallet. Now click on backup, and this will create a key store. It'll ask for your password, put in the password, confirm, and confirm. Okay, now you can read this, but this is basically your key store, and it's important that you copy this and put it offline on a USB stick. So I'll copy this, and then I'll come back to the main menu here. Now what we need to do is transfer, but first let's go to our new wallet. Click on main, and you can see we've got an address here. If we click on this icon, you can see we can actually, this is where we can back up our private key. Okay, so it's important to do that as well. So if we just come back here, now we need to copy this address. So we know what address to send to. We'll copy it here. X out of this. And then we'll come back to our main wallet with our ZBT. And if we click on ZBT here, and then come down to transfer, and we'll paste in our new wallet address in here. I'm going to transfer 100. You'll need two Gala for the transaction fee. Okay, just click on next. Now you'll need to enter your password in here. And I'll just put that in there. And then confirm. Okay, now that should have gone through. Just to double check, let's come back. Come back to the menu. And click on our new wallet. And here you can see is the 100 ZBT transferred already. Okay, so it's that simple. Restoring to the new seed we created is simply the same as I explained in restoring to original seed. So first, log into your ledger three times with the incorrect pin. Follow the prompts and when you get to configure as new device, choose the X for no. When you come to restore configuration, select the check mark for yes. Then you'll need to enter your new seed that you created. You'll need to use Ledger Live or the Chrome apps to add the apps or the wallets you need for all your assets. Now you should be able to see all your assets on your ledger. So I hope this video has helped you and don't forget to subscribe to the Zeepin Medium for all the announcements and updates and join the Telegram channels for some awesome information and community engagement. Take care everyone.